today we're going to be uh, putting in RSX end wings on a FRS ZN6 chassis which are bottom mounts to the control arm and uh, you'll see as we get into it. Here is the uh, part numbers um, that I ordered from Rock Auto and it was relatively cheap and here are the end links so we'll compare them to the sizing of the old ones and the location once we get the uh, wheel off. So as you can see, I have already sprayed inside my wheel well um, because it had rubbed through all of this lining. I'll eventually go over this with undercoating again, but you can see the amount of clearance is minimal. Opposed to being mounted up this way to the actual strut, it's gonna be relocated downwards to the lower control arm. So we'll go ahead and unbolt this. So what you're going to want to do is get your um, new end link. You will notice that the sway bar hole is a little bit bigger than the stud that goes through on the end link. So you're going to want to be creative and make a little rubber grommet of some sort. have much play. So what we're going to do is uh, get that bolted up right now so we can make our measurements and drill our hole. You're going to also want to remove the other side uh, so that way the sway bar is able to move. The new link on, um, we can start lining it up. Basically drill in the middle of the control arm um, with the sway bar link as straight as possible. Uh, um, so what I'm going to do is mark a hole right here and then uh, drill accordingly to the size of the actual spline. As far as bolting everything up goes, I would recommend bolting up this lower part first. So basically undo the sway bar, um, bolt this up so it's nice and tight, and then you can move the sway bar to accommodate and slide this one in. So now that we got this side all uh, bolted up nicely, uh, we still got some movement. Um, we're going to go to the other side before putting this back into the sway bar so we're not limited with how much we're allowed to move the sway bar. Alright, so this is the uh, finished product after getting the top bolted up. Um, the rubber grommet filler did is just as it's supposed to, filled in the space so there's no play. So this is going to save us a lot of hassle with... Uh, um, turning radius issues and it will also not beat up your car any more than it already has so hope this helps some of you and uh, if you have any questions just message me and I'll try and respond as best as I could thanks